What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Phenomenal finishing, right? So, Konami have announced these new cards. We're going to get into this. We're going to discuss it. We're going to break it down. And I think it does usher in a big change into player cards and maybe the future of eFootball 2024. Because I've been kind of saying for a long time that, yeah, they, they were kind of, I think, flirting with this idea of having unique players with unique play styles, unique skill sets, unique player skills, play styles... Um, they kind of had, as I said, flirted with it with having the foil cards and the rare cards. Um, and I now I think that they've kind of got a fairly um, kind of good base for uh, the gameplay and stuff. I know, look, we have a lot of issues still with the gameplay. But what I mean is that they are starting to focus a little bit more on the cards rather than just bringing out multiple versions of the same cards. Um, it's a slow process, but I do think that this could be a sign of things to come that you might have in a couple of months time with eFootball 2024 you might have a player like Haaland who has a lower overall rating than his normal standard card, but he has unique player skills or unique player abilities. So for this version of Haaland that we have here, he's a fox in the box, right? Um, but as I'm saying, you might have a version of Haaland that has a new hairstyle, that has a new player skill as we go on. So this is kind of hinted at here um, for the last couple of weeks. But now we do have confirmation of a new player skill, phenomenal finishing. Um, and this is why I'm always saying, lads, look, wait for confir confirmed stuff because people that are kind of like, you know, talking about stuff and leaking stuff and clickbait and stuff. They don't, you know, nobody, nobody leaked this, right? Nobody leaked this. It's, it's, it's something that like, you know, you have to wait for official confirmation and stuff because we do get confirmation and stuff. And then it kind of like, you know, it, it kind of, it makes, makes all the other videos that are talking about this kind of clickbaity stuff, uh, workless, right? And I will get into that in a future video as well, but you can see what Haaland here, right? We're going to just do a quick compare of this card, which has phenomenal finishing and his standard card, which we will see here. So you can see the player skills here for his phenomenal finishing card that they released in this new pack. Everything else is identical in the card, it seems. It's just a couple of stats here and there that are different. But the other version of the card that we have is going to be his standard version, right? So this is this version. You can see the same face, but he's got phenomenal finishing there. Super sub, all that is still there, but the phenomenal finishing is a unique player skill for this card. And then we have a standard version which is here. So as you can see, right, there is a couple of differences in this card, most notably the player level. So this player level on this card, it goes to 26. Um, you know, the form is still the same. Everything is still pretty much the same. There's obviously a couple of stats here and there, but this standard version of Haaland, which is available in the standard marketplace for 640,000 GP, he does not have uh, the new player skill, which is... Uh, the finishing stat, the phenomenal finishing stat, right? And this is true of Kane and Oshiman as well. And obviously with the new packs coming, Messi is going to have a different, you know, unique player skill when they release the big Showtime uh, Messi. They're going to also have a Fortress new one. We saw it with the skills that they released here. We have Fortress, we have, um, you know, phenomenal finishing. So when we go back to this, right, and we go back to the actual card here, you will see that even with Harry Kane here, right, he's got the phenomenal finishing because of this pack, right? But when we actually go back out here, and we're going to show you guys this. They've actually updated as well. I haven't seen people comment on this too much on Twitter or whatever. Um, but they've actually updated the user information as well. Or sorry, the, the actual game control, the game commands. And they've actually brought the, the general information updated. Sorry, lads, I'm all tongue-tied. With the new player skill, right? So they, we know that they're going to be adding multiple new player skills. Um, to unique cards but when we scroll down here we will finally get to phenomenal finishing which wasn't here before today uh, this player skill is brand new so what does this player skill do well it says that it increases the power and accuracy of finishing shots attempted from unorthodox body positions so there's a lot to unpack in this right so we'll spend the next minute or two unpacking things while we are uh, just talking about this right and while we're in training mode so I'm just going to head to training mode and then we'll talk about it here. All right, so we are in training here. So 
I think kind of at the moment, right, you might have noticed that, that since V2.4, there's been a lot of changes to the shooting, right? Now, you can still finish, you can still curl shot, you can still finesse shot, you can still finish one-on-one, -on -one, right? But the changes that they've made, I think in a big way, especially that I've noticed, is cutting in from the left here or cutting in from the right. So obviously, if you're cutting in here, they've made changes to the flight of the ball um, that you have to kind of go in a little bit further, right? Before... You could shoot from kind of out here where I am with Haaland. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. So you could kind of shoot from out here with Haaland from a finesse shot or a curl shot, right? Um, and you could kind of shoot from there. But they've kind of made a difference to the flight of the ball in that when you are under pressure from a defender, it's different than shooting around in training mode, right? It seems to be just kind of like a dream team style uh, thing, especially when you're shooting at speed or you're shooting when you turn, right? Now, one of the biggest things that they talk about with the phenomenal finishing is the ability to be able to finish from unorthodox positions or unorthodox, uh, you know, body positions or player styles or like that. When there are, you know, so what I would be thinking is if you are turning at pace, there is kind of like at the moment a difference between players that are able to turn at pace and shoot first time, as you saw with Haaland there on either foot. I reckon that what it's going to be is similar to something that I actually don't like in the game, which is the 180 passing. Is, them, is those passing, passing uh, styles there or those uh, range of passing? When you're facing and you do a 180 there, like where you're just pressing pass and holding the back button, um, but like you're passing at a 180 and it's kind of like a weird janky animation. So I reckon what it's going to be is that when you are shooting, it's going to be kind of like a difference to their balance. And the way that they talk about shooting in unorthodox positions, I reckon that's going to be when you're off balance, when you're not set up properly. Like usually, right, look, if any of us have played football at any level, right, even if it's a kick around in school or whatever, right, you will know that, you know, you have to be kind of set to kind of put your laces through the ball if you want a bit of power in a shot. If you want to get a curl on a shot, you're going to hit it with the outside of your foot or else you want to hit it with the ins inside of your foot as well to be able to get that angle on the shot to be able to curl it around, right? And obviously you can have the toe poke uh, and any of those as well, the kind of chip shots or anything like that. But I think what they're trying to do with this phenomenal finishing is make it that even though that players mightn't have, you know, the stat in a 90, like if you look at Haaland's stat here from his base level, right? And this is not his actual um, dream team rating because he's an 89 overall. His kicking power is 90 on this one. This is his actual, when the game launches and you're able to play Master League, this will be his rating in the full game, 89 overall, right? But when we actually go down to his player skills, he's going to have a few less player skills, obviously compared to the new card that was out there, including he won't have phenomenal finishing because that's just unique to that card that they just released, right? But when you are looking at the rest of his cards, right, the rest of his card, he goes weak foot usage is almost never um, and weak foot, weak, weak foot accuracy is high, right? So when you look at his balance stat is 54 and you look at his uh, tight, pos tight possession is going to be 64 as well, um, that's going to be extremely low, obviously, for a player that is going to be kind of like getting a lot of chances in the box, right? So in Dream Team, if you are running and you're under pressure, the defender does have a difference, uh, a different kind of animation set than the attacker, right? That's why a lot of the time at the moment, because the defending the game is a little bit overpowered and it's a little bit easy and assisted, um, it's kind of why you get a lot of breaks with the defender and a lot of rebounds because the defender kind of when you're not controlling him when the ai is being controlled by the computer um, and you're just manually controlling somebody else the ai at the defense does have an advantage so i reckon it's going to be all about when you're off balance like this and being able to score goals where you're not really set perfectly so it is going to be interesting to see lads because i do think that it is going to usher in a new kind of player skill um, a lot of stuff is going to be meta like we could see somebody like Oshman obviously have this where the rest of his stats aren't absolutely incredible, but this could kind of filter on all the way to say somebody like Sergio Busquets, right? Sergio Busquets might have 50 acceleration or 60 acceleration in eFootball 2024, but he might have a special trait or a special player skill or a unique play style specific to his card such as like you know deadly pass or killer pass or something like that where he's able to have certain animations and certain play style um that will be unique to him that will make you want to have him in your team so that's just a bit of a breakdown on that lads let me know what you guys think of this and yeah i'm looking forward to letting uh having a chat about this later on as well but let me know what you guys think is it a a good thing or a bad thing 
I will give my opinion on it in a future video when we go in a little bit more of a deep dive. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, lads, and I will talk to you later. I hope this helped because I know a lot of people will be asking about the new phenomenal finishing. And when you have something visual like a new player skill like this, uh, it is going to take a bit of testing, but that's hopefully a breakdown of that. So that is it for me, lads. This could be game changing, I think, as we go into eFootball 2024. But let me know what your thoughts.